hello friends welcome to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is southern blotting technique which is one of the most popular and widely used technique for detection of dna in this video i am going to discuss two things about southern blotting technique namely first a short introduction to southern blotting technique and second procedure involved in southern blotting but before going into the details of southern blotting technique i want you all to understand the principle and working of agarose gel electrophoresis first i have already made a video on it on my channel i have mentioned the link of the video in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand the topic better now let us understand short introduction to southern blotting technique followed by its procedure if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads southern blotting is a widely used technique that is employed for detecting specific genes in cellular dna the technique is named after edwin m southern who developed in 1975 the procedure involves five steps namely first extraction of dna digestion and loading of agarose gel second agarose gel electrophoresis and denaturation of dna third transfer of dna from gel to filter fourth exposure to probe and hybridization and fifth auto radiography now let us understand each and every step in detail first step extraction of dna digestion and loading of agarose gel dna is first extracted from cells with the enzyme proteinase k and diethyltryptol purification of the dna is carried out by phenol chloroform extraction followed by ethanol sodium acetate precipitation the purified dna is then digested with one or several restriction enzymes like eco r1 or hind3 which recognize a six base pair recognition site the enzymes cut dna at restriction sites at several places to produce large number of dna fragments the digested dna is double stranded and loaded into the wells in agarose gel second step agarose gel electrophoresis and denaturation of dna the digested dna fragments in the size range of 0.1 to 20 kb is fractionated by agarose gel electrophoresis whereas for larger fragments ranging from 40 kb to several megabases pulse filled gel electrophoresis is employed the double stranded dna is denatured by soaking in sodium hydroxide to single stranded state subsequently soaking in trace buffer neutralizes the gel third step transfer of dna from gel to filter the denatured dna fragments single stranded dna are transferred from agarose gel to a transfer medium that is nitrocellulose or nylon membrane by capillary action the setup for southern blotting is as follows A sponge or a stack of filter paper is placed in a tray of buffer and allowed to imbibe the liquid. The agarose gel is placed face up on the sponge filter paper stack. Alternatively, the gel can be placed on a filter paper wick dipping into the buffer wick itself being placed on the stand. A transfer medium of the same size of the agarose gel is placed over the gel. The transfer medium is covered with a stack of dry filter papers and a weight placed on the paper. This blotting arrangement is left for a few hours or overnight. The buffer solution is pulled up through the sponge agarose gel. transfer medium and stack of filter paper by capillary action the electrophoresis dna fragments on the agarose gel are carried up 
एंड ट्रांसफर्ड टू द नाइट्रोसेल्यूलोस पेपर और नाइलॉन मेम्ब्रेन वेर दे बाइंड टाइटली एंड मेक एन एग्जैक्ट रेप्लिका ऑफ द जेल दिस इज द सदन ब्लॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इनविजिबल बैंड्स ऑन द फिल्टर द नाइट्रोसेल्यूलोस फिल्टर इज रिमूव एंड बेक्ड इन वैक्यूम एट एट्टी डिग्री फिक्सिंग द डी एन ए परमनेंटली ऑन टू द फिल्टर फॉर नाइलॉन मेम्ब्रेन फिल्टर्स डी एन ए इज फिक्सड बाय बेकिंग और क्रॉस लिंकिंग फोर्थ स्टेप एक्सपोजर टू प्रोब एंड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन द नाइट्रोसेल्यूलोस फिल्टर इज नाउ बाथ इन अ सोल्यूशन कंटेनिंग अ स्पेसिफिक रेडियो एक्टिव प्रोब पी थर्टी टू फॉर हाइब्रिडाइजेशन द नाइट्रोसेल्यूलोस फिल्टर इज प्लेस्ड इन अ टाइट फिटिंग प्लास्टिक बैग कंटेनिंग अ मिनिमम सोल्यूशन वॉल्यूम ऑफ द रेडियो एक्टिव डी एन ए प्रोब दिस इज केप्ट एट सिक्सटी डिग्री फॉर सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स the relatively higher ionic strength of the solution promotes hybridization fifth and the final step auto radiography auto radiography is used to detect the site of a radio labeled entity in the fragments of dna as a result radioactive bands corresponding to the bands containing gene of interest are found the filter is washed to remove all the traces of unbound probe dried and overlaid with an x-ray film for auto radiography the developed auto radiogram shows the position of the dna fragments complementary to the probe in the form of bands on the film if you are watching my video for the first time subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification on all the latest updates directly onto your phone thank you